In this video, I'm going to show you how I build my own custom uh, DeepSeek models on a chat version that you can see over here. Basically, this is the model which I'm using from my local large language model just running in my old Llama over here. So you see that this is the DeepSeek uh, R1 8 billion parameter which I'm currently going to run in my machine. So you see that uh, this is the UI. It's built using Streamlit app. So if you just want to learn more about Streamlit, just go and search for Streamlit. You can see that this is the, this is the one that you can actually use to build and ship the data apps so easily. So they have got this information over here. I'm going to be covering this as a part of my course, uh, which is going to be released in the RAG and how you can do the testing with the chatbots and large language models in local language, uh, local large language models and stuff. That's, that's coming pretty soon. But you can see that this is the first glimpse of what I'm actually working on so that you will have an idea of what is something you can expect in my course. So you see that uh, this particular bot over here, um, maybe this is chat window over here, you can just say, uh, yeah, explain me about uh, sun in simple uh, way. And I'm asking as an, a beginner level over here. So if I ask this question, this is going to go all the way to my uh, large language model, which is running in my local machine uh, in the O Llama over here. And you see that I'm going to get the response coming up over here. And because I'm using the DeepSeek R1, uh, the thinking model, uh, the reasoning model, you see that it is trying to think over here before it starts to answer. So you get that particular response as well. And finally, you can see that after the entire thinking is done over here, it is going to start writing out the details for you over here. So that is the, this is the beginner level of details that you are getting in over here. So if I ask the same question in the PhD level, uh, you'll see that the things are going to be even more interesting. So let me go copy this, uh, paste it over here. And now if I just go and hit enter, you will see that now it is going to do quite a lot of things over here, not just like a simple uh, answer that it gave. I mean, even the simple answer was a bit complex, but you see that it is already giving me a lot of details over here, just thinking, and then it's trying to bring up these details over here. So this is one of the one of the way that we can actually write our own uh, uh, chat bots and use it within our machine without us paying a lot of money to the, uh, the, the uh, to the deep seek or maybe chat GPT for that matter. So this is one way of you using it. And the same thing can be used in the companies where you can build your own um, applications using these models, which is going to be even more amazing. You see that it's already working there. Uh, let me go and ask a simple programming question because uh, we are being uh, we are doing quite a lot of programming in here. So uh, I'm going to say expert level, and I'm going to say can you write a selenium uh, with c sharp .NET code the dependency injection for ea app dot somi dot com website over here so this is the usual site which i always take to ask the questions so i'm gonna do the exact same thing over here and you see that the deep seek is now gonna start writing the code for me so i'm just gonna wait until this entire thing completes you see that it's doing quite a lot of things over there And you can see that now it is doing quite a lot of things right. Like it's also helping you to write the setup operation, how you configure the web driver, and how you implement the dependency injection using uh, n inject. And then it is writing the code for you, and then also writing the structure of the test class with spec flow, which is great. So it is also doing another layer for us, like the BDD operation there. Uh, and also it is trying to write the dependency injection of the test for me over here. See that now it is using the n inject for uh, the injection operation with iKernel. So it's doing that as well. And then it's also writing the asynchronous actions and waiting operation there. Uh, and you see that it is doing a lot of different operations. So I just asked this question pretty much like an expert level. That's the reason why you're getting this uh, output over here. And it's all happening within our local machine, guys. It's not even going to the to the internet to get all these responses. It's all running within my machine to make this happen, which is quite amazing. So this is how I have built a simple or super simple application uh, for the uh, for the large language model which is running in my local machine. So if I want to change the model, I can change the model as well. So I can just go ahead and change from the DeepSeek model over here to maybe some other models which I have over here. So let's say I have to change the QN model, so I can just, uh, just go ahead and change the model over here. Uh, something like this, and then you can save it. And if I run it, it's going to run. What if I wanted to even change this, uh, uh, the model itself from the runtime from this particular uh, UI? I can also do that. It's not a big deal at all because it's just about the, the UI, how you can do it. 
all these details are going to be coming up pretty soon in my course but stay tuned guys this is amazing this is quite awesome i'm going to be releasing this course how do you build all this bot by yourself and also how you can test this from the complete ground up catch you soon